Pietro Bembo. Pietro Bembo, O S I H Latin, Petrus Bembus, 20 May 1470, 18 January 1547. As an intellectual of the Italian Renaissance 15th 16th C, Pietro Bembo greatly influenced the development of the Tuscan dialect as a literary language for poetry and prose, which, by later codification into a standard language, became the modern Italian language. In the 16th century, Bembo's poetry, essays, books proved basic to reviving interest in the literary works of Petrarch. In the field of music, Bembo's literary writing techniques helped composers develop the techniques of musical composition that made the madrigal the most important secular music of 16th century Italy. Life Pietro Bembo was born on 20 May 1470 to an aristocratic Venetian family. His father Bernardo, Bembo 1433-1519, was a diplomat and statesman and a cultured man who cared for the literature of Italy and erected a monument to Dante Alighieri 1265-1321 in Ravenna. Bernardo Bembo was an ambassador for the Republic of Venice 697-1797, and was accompanied by his son, Pietro. During his father's ambassadorships to Florence 1474-1476 and 1478-1480, Pietro acquired a love for the Tuscan dialect from which the Italian language developed. Under the tutelage of the Neoplatonist scholar Constantine Lascaris 1434-1501, Pietro Bembo studied Greek language for two years at Messina, and then studied at the University of Padua. His later travels included two years, 1497-1499, at the Est Court at Ferrara, during the reign of Ercole I d'Est, Duke of Ferrara R. 1471-1505. For writers and composers, the city of Ferraro was an artistic center where Bembo met the poet Ludovico Ariosto, 1474-1533, later, in the 1497-1504 period, Bembo wrote his first work, Gli Asolani, The People of Asello, 1505, a poetic dialogue about courtly love. The poems were later set to music, which Bembo preferred be sung by a woman to the accompaniment of a lute, an artistic wish granted in 1505, when he met Isabella d'Est 1474-1539 in her response to having received a gift copy of Gly A. Solani. In the 1502-1503 period, Bembo again was in Ferrara where he had a love affair with Lucrezia Borgia 1480-1519, wife of Alfonso I. d'Est, Duke of Ferrara 1476-1534, son of the previous duke. In the event, Bembo left the city of Ferrara when Ercole employed Josquin Despres 1450-1521 as composer to the chapel fortuitously. Bembo left town just as the Black Death Plague killed most of the population of Ferrara. In the 1506-1512 period, Bembo resided in Urbino, where he wrote prose della vulgar lingua prose of the vernacular tongue, 1525, a treatise about composing and writing poetry in vernacular language of the Tuscan dialect. He accompanied Giulio di Giuliano de Medici 1478-1534 to Rome, where Bembo later was appointed Latin secretary to Pope Leo XR 1513-1521, and also was made a member of the Knights Hospitaller in 1514. At the death of Pope Leo X in 1521, Bembo retired with impaired health, to Padua and continued to write. In 1530, he accepted the office of official historian of his native Republic of Venice shortly afterwards. Bembo also was appointed librarian of the Basilica of San Marco di Venezia. On 20 December 1538, Pope Paul Roman III R. 1534-1549 made Bembo a cardinal in Pector, in secret, who then returned to Rome. In 1538, Bembo received holy orders as a priest. Afterwards, Bembo's secret nomination as cardinal was published, and he then received the Red Gallero hat in a papal consistory on 10 March 1539, with the title of Cardinal Deacon of the Church of San Siriaco a la Term Diocclesian, 
which occasion Bembo marked by commissioning a portrait from Titian 1488-1576. The most important painting in the event, Cardinal Bembo was advanced to the rank of Cardinal Priest in February 1542, with title to the Church of San Crisogono, changed two years later to that of the Basilica of San Clement. At Rome, Cardinal Bembo continued to write, and revised his earlier works whilst studying theology and the history of classical antiquity A.D. 8th 6th C. Despite having been rewarded for his successful administration of the dioceses of Gubbio and Bergamo, the Church did not promote Bembo to bishop. In 1547, Pietro Bembo died at the age of 77 years and was buried in the Church of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva. Works and Influences as a theoretician of literature, Pietro Bembo instilled to the Tuscan dialect the emotional effect that the ancient Greek language A.D. 9th, 6th C. had upon the Greek listener by using examples from the classically composed poetry of Petrarch and the prose of Giovanni Boccaccio, whilst foregoing the difficulties of translation and composition inherent. In the book Prose della Vulgar Lingua, the prose of the vernacular tongue, 1525 Petrarch is the model of verse composition, and Bembo gives detailed explanations of the communicational functions of rhyme and stress in the sounding of a word and the cadence of a line to achieve a balanced composition. That the specific placement of words within a line in a poem based upon the writer's strict attention to the sonic rhythm of vowels and consonant letters would elicit from the Italian reader Bembo's rules of poetical composition in prose of the vernacular tongue were basic to the development of the techniques of musical composition that made the madrigal Italy's preeminent secular music in the 16th century. His theories of musical composition were disseminated by the Venetian school by composers such as Adrian Mullert, whose book Musica Nova New Music 1568 contains madrigal compositions derived from the linguistic theories of Bembo. As a writer in the book De Etna ad Indelum Chabrilum Liber 1496, Bembo tells how he and his father, Bernardo, climbed Mount Etna and there found snow in summertime, a reality that contradicted the Greek geographer, Strabo, who said that snow was present only in winter. Nonetheless, Bembo perceptively notes, the typeface for De Etna was the basis for the monotype corporation's old-style serif font called Bembo. Bembo's edition of Tuscan Poems 1501 by Petrarch and the work of lyric verse Ter's Rhyme 1530 much influenced the development of the Tuscan dialect into the literary language of Italy. In Gli Asolani, the people of Asolo, 1505, Bembo explained and recommended platonic love as superior to carnal love. As a priest, Bembo reaffirmed and promoted the Christian perfection of Renaissance humanism. Deriving all from love, or the lack thereof, Bembo's schemas were appended as supplements to the newly invented technology of printing by Aldus Manutius in his editions of the Divine Comedy in the 16th century. Bembo's refutation of the pervasive puritanical tendency to a profane dualistic Gnosticism is elaborated in The People of Asalo, his third prose book, which reconciled fallen human nature by way of platonic transcendence that is mediated by Trinitarian love Bembo dedicated that book to his lover Lucrezia Borgia.